Sup Shooters, my name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to Esper Reviews, where today we have ourselves a track from an axe, uh, axe Miles Jar and Working on Dying. This track is called uh, One More Time, and if we switch over to here, we have it on YouTube. This is uh, directed by SD Vordy, a Vordi. Sweet. So we're going to listen through this track from start to finish and hear what you think. Let's go. Oh, it's got an old kind of R&B solish kind of vibe to it. Oh, that's slow building volume. Okay, dog. Have we got some sort of LP kind of dis distortion? I'm Interesting painting of the lady vocals just then. Great interaction, really solid pipes, nice vocal texture, comfortable performance. Brace yourself, we gon' make us a movie. Can't help myself, it's something you're doing to me. What do you mean that you can find you would know me? Come to your senses, you talking crazily, truly. Did you really think I would forget about Ah, excellent work. That shit you said when you was tripping now. Now you in my bed, going triple rounds. Now you in my bed, whoa. I like the fact that he's exploring his vocal range here. I love these strings and those little vocal takes and the oh, like that, those, that stuff going on in the background. It's interesting because like that kind of vinyl filtering that he was doing there with the production allowed for his like sort of main vocals to stand out a bit more because they weren't filtered. Did you really think it was another me? Bring your ass back home, baby, fuck the streets. I miss all them days when you was loving me. I miss all them days. Get mixed with liquor, we switch positions And rapping and when now I'm in it, I swear it feel like a nigga swimming I talk that shit, but I back it up So you gotta listen I'm sticking with it Cause shorty, she really get the vision Damn, he can sing and he can rap. That's the that's the triple threat, man. When you got the production, when you got the rapping, and when you got the clean vocals, and all of them are handled well, it's phenomenal, uh, dude. And now I gotta prove it, gotta do it. And once you with me, girl, I swear it's you, I'm never losing. Shorty, my peace, I gotta keep it in my life still. The way you shine is like a zillion dollar light bill. You know I'm just who you are. In any room, I can spot you right from afar. It's interesting, like the, the drum kit sounds reasonably fresh. I'm not sure if they sampled the drum kit or not. The strings, uh, are they part of the original sample or something? How much of this has been brought from something and put into something else? How much of it was recorded and produced for the track itself? Oh, we've got a like a hook versus hook kind of vibe. Marcus Little. Marcus Little and visually. Visuals by Luke. Visuals by Luke. Shot by Wave. Nice fade out. Nice fade out, dude. Makeshift. And that's that. And this is a conclusion of my review of Miles Jean working on Dying's One More Time. What is this track about? I think this track is about someone who is with a lady. And that lady is trying to figure out whether or not she wants to be with this dude or not. And this guy's like, no, no. No, no, you know you're going to come back. What are you doing? Why are you trying to find another version of me? So it's basically them working through that and showing himself as being very sophisticated with a suit and everything like that in, in the show. And, you know, singing sort of like, got oh, that kind of crooner kind of vibe, you know, like that kind of 50s kind of crooner kind of vibe. Um, like, you know, like uh, Frank Sinatra-esque kind of thing. Um, combined with the sort of more contemporary rapping kind of stuff that we got that flow there, it was great. It was a nice combination of elements. The guy can sing, the guy can rap. G going along with the story, it was nice to hear the different facets of him as a vocalist, as a performer. Um, this is my first impression of um, Miles Jar and Working on Dying. 
uh, you know, and I, I think I'm very impressed. I'm happy with it. It's it's a great effort. I think that it's a really strong beginning to proceedings. Um, I, I'm, I'm wondering if they've got any more collaborations in the works. I hope they do. Um, they work really well together. I think that, uh, yeah, no, his vocals were, were tender and caring and considerate. And um, yeah, I liked, again, the fact that he didn't just stay within his light chest voice. He worked with his head voice as well in the second half of that clean part. And he just knew when to switch to keep it engaging. The actual motif of it itself with the brass and the vocals and that 70s kind of vibe to it was sick, man. A lot of musicians are going back to the 70s and 80s for inspiration nowadays because a lot of that music was absolutely phenomenal, you know? And there's already a lot of music pagan music from the 2020s, you know? I think it's a smart move, especially when you talk about those kind of old school romances and stuff like that. I think we captured it elegantly and eloquently. I don't think that we needed to do anything differently from a stylistic or performative or compositional standpoint. I'm still trying to figure out how much of it was like sampled and how much it was performed. I don't particularly mind either way. It's just to get that kind of, kind of sheen to it, that warmth, that crispness, like we would have to do some really sick production to be able to get that all sounding the same if it would have been done in the house, you know? Either way, it's fine, you know, it's just the fact that I'm thinking about it and trying to figure it out is testament and a compliment to the people involved in the actual production process. It compliments the work that Miles Cha did as a vocalist. I presume Miles Cha is the one singing in this video. Really great, interesting motif. It's got a, like a charm and a sophistication to it that I think is coupled as well with what Miles is trying to do as a vocalist. So that's good, they make sense together. At two minutes 30, you know, with that chorus versus chorus structure, it's nice and short with the instrumental intro and outro. We didn't need more than that. I think that told the story we needed to as in and out. It's very respectful of the listener's time, especially for a first impression. It's very important to be mindful of that. Um, in addition to that, I think that um, what we had going on in regards to the situation with the actual... I, I, again, I, I don't know how much of it was recorded and how much was sampled, but either way, I think we took away and added elements as we went through. The motif didn't need to change much, you know? Um, we, we, we kept it interesting with the actual performance itself and it was it was articulated to make more sense of what the singer was doing but uh, there was enough color in it to sort of illustrate the the complexity of the situation but also the passion involved and finally the recording mixing and mastering was was splendid I, I liked it initially I was like is are things a bit too tight together in the mix but after closer inspection and retrospection, I think that um, we, we absolutely nailed it. The vocal recording was pristine and polished and professional. The rest of the instruments sounded nicely rounded out and balanced EQ and it was nice and wide and stereo filled and there weren't any weird resonances in the frequency spectrum. Um, as a final note, the limiting compression was absolutely um, smashing. It was excellent. We have ourselves a track here, which um, I really can't fault it would be interesting to see what we do in future with Miles Jha and, and working or dying and, and everyone else involved in this. But I think we have ourselves a song here which set out to do something, sold it very well. And it's just, I think it's testament to the amount of competition within the genre that there are so many musicians making such great music nowadays. And it's not just that, it's also the, the, the videos that people are making, the, the, the capability people have to sort of produce their own entire major label efforts, man, it's dope. I wish everyone involved the best of luck in future, but um, thank you very much for watching this review of One More Time by Miles John Working on Dying. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go check out their various social medias and their YouTube page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as they need the help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spud Anza.